for any occasion and especially for Christmas. What a great gift. You know, three of Jack's books are in here as well as the wonderful edition of the Bible, Prophecy Bible. Jack, it's a wonderful, wonderful offer. Those three books sold for $60 and now for $59.95 you get the books and the Bible and listen to me. I've got hundreds of hours of study in 10,385 verses that are coded like our announcer Chuck Oman said. And it's something that's important for your life. All right, now there's the, the telephone number and the address. Please make the call immediately. We'll get this in the mail as soon as possible. Christmas is almost here. Not quite, but you need to be doing your Christmas shopping right now. Great gift for any occasion, but especially Christmas. My, oh my friends, you know, something happened that really astounded me. The Western officials gave credit to Saudi intelligence. They've been our friend over there, Saudi Arabia, for the tip they received concerning the aviation bomb plot. A bomb plot. Saudis warned U.S. of an avi aviation bomb plot weeks ago. Here we go. Bomb plot involving airlines barely averted, officials say. Bomb was set to explode over the United States. Yemen cargo plane plot, one of the bombs traveled on two passenger jets. All right, and we're going on here, mail bomb four times larger than the Christmas plot. Four times larger than that one. That was terrible. Pakistan al-Qaeda aids Yemen plots. And U.S. officials says more explosives from Yemen cannot be ruled out. Arrest an FBI terror sting. Man charged in D.C. subway plot. And Canada towards a terrorist bomb plot arresting three. Now that is the Wall Street Journal, and that was in Ontario. Once again, four guilty in New York City plot aimed at synagogues. Prime Minister Netanyahu mail bombs targeting U.S. synagogues proves Islamist terror is rising. And Italy's M.K. Fiamma Narenstein. Islam does not like Christians. Now that's a Jewish gentleman, Italian gentleman speaking there. Going on toll in Iraqi church attack rises. Now they're speaking about how they hate Christians. Priests among 58 killed during terror siege at Iraq church. And Iraqis grieve for victims. Plan talks. And Detroit rally planned to back Iraqi Christians. And oh, take a look at this. I can't believe it. Al Qaeda ally in Iraq says all Christians legitimate targets. All Christians. Oh, well, that's pretty engulfing, friends, isn't it? All Christians. I want to ask Jack. He knows the Bible so well. Does the Bible predict? that just prior to the coming of the Lord, we would see a persecution of Christians everywhere, Jack? Matthew 24, 37, Jesus said, As the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. When I return, it's going to be like it was in Noah's day. And in Noah's day, the whole world was filled with violence and terrorism. Genesis 6, verse 11. But what's bothering me, Rexella, is that Islam is a religion. And... The way they operate, I don't understand how Islam could teach these things. If you put a bomb on your body and run into a group of people and kill them, even your own 85,000 in Iraq, Shiites and Sunnis killing one another, you get 72 virgins for all eternity. How do you create holy people with the appeal of lust? There's something wrong, ladies and gentlemen, and these Islamic terrorists are killing in all nations, even their own people. In fact, Khomeini of Iran, the head man there of religion, said, we don't care if millions of our people die in an atomic war as long as our flag can fly over all nations. But I like what Netanyahu said. This is really coming up against Israel. And you watch it because most places where they attack in America, it's where the Jews live. God forgive them. But in Iraq, and these are Chaldeans. These are among the first Christians ever in history. This is where the Garden Eden supposedly was. This is where they had Babylon. 
And these people love God. They are Catholics called Chaldeans. In Egypt, they're called Coptics. They have different names everywhere. But they walked into a church during Mass and killed two of the priests and 58 people. And you know that 1,500,000 Chaldeans have already fled. Many of them are here in America. Many of them are my friends. And when they were after Saddam Hussein and they sort of stuck up for him, I thought, what's wrong here? But I've talked to many of these Chaldeans and they, with tears, said, we love this man because he is the only dictator in an Islamic nation who protected us as Christians. Nothing happened. That's what's been happening now. Oh, Rexella, God help us, God help us. Well, not only does the Bible say that Christians would receive persecution, but let's go back. How about the Jews? Well, they also, because of their religion, you mentioned about the synagogues. He mentioned in New York, the synagogues that they're really, really focusing on there, Jack. Will the Jews be persecuted also? Oh, Rexella, a lackey. The terrorists that they want to take now, dead or alive, in Yemen, who behind the bombs and the Christmas bombing and everything else. And it would have hit Boston or New York. It was set with a time clock to go off, but praise God, Saudi Arabia, there is a nation that wants to do right. And in the Bible, that's Ezekiel 38, 13, who do not go along with the Islamic fundamentalist group when World War III is on against Israel. But listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Allah, he said, we will soon hit Paris, the UK, and the suburbs of Detroit, probably. Bloomfield Hills, because that's where our Jewish people live. The Jews, yes. The Bible says in Jeremiah 30, verse 7, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. And Jacob changed his name to Israel in 2 Kings 17, 34. Again, we find that Daniel 12, 1 says, There shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, but at that time thy people, the Jews, shall be saved. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 21, For then shall be great tribulation such as never was since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be again. And except those days should be saved, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. Now Christians are also elect in Titus 1, 1 and 1 Peter 2. But listen to me very carefully now. God's elect, as far as Yahweh's concerned, for that is his wife, Israel, his wife, yes, Jeremiah 3.14, the apple of his eye, Zechariah 2.8, and his elect, Isaiah 42.1, 45.4, chapter 65, verses 9 and 22. And, oh, they're going to be persecuted. There's going to be a war breaking out there in the near future, and the Bible 18 times mentions that Russia and China join together and all the Arab Federation, I don't know about the rest of the Muslim nations, but all Arab nations will probably be in there with the exception of Saudi Arabia, and that's Ezekiel 38, verses 8, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, chapter 39, verses 2, 4, twice, and 7, 9, 11, 12, 17, 22, 23, 25, 29, and oh, God spare Israel. And they're going to really persecute the Christians too. Now you say, I thought we were going to be evacuated. Come up hither, Revelation 4, 1. We won't be here. Wait a minute. After we're gone, he pours out his Holy Spirit upon all flesh. Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 30, and Acts chapter 2, verses 19 to 21. And you have 144,000 flaming evangelists in Revelation chapter 7, verses 4 to 8, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, Matthew 24, 14. The gospel of the kingdom? Yes, the king is coming. The king is coming. That's the Messiah of Israel. That's the Christ of Christianity. Well, who's going to be the Christians there since we're gone? The greatest revival in history takes place as millions get saved and come to Christ. What? That's Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. I saw a multitude which no man could number like the sand of the sea. And they came out of the great tribulation and washed their robes white in the blood of the Lamb. Verse 4. And they're going to be persecuted too. Jesus said about Jews and Christians, for that hour, Matthew 24, 9, you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. John 16, 2, whosoever kills you will think he's doing a service for God. And that is the other religion that kills them thinking they're honoring their God. How wrong. I don't know how they can kill 85,000 of their own. 
two denominations within Islam, Shiites and Sunnis killing one another and marching into a Catholic church of the Chaldeans in Iraq and murdering the priests during mass. God forgive them. Now my Bible says the sixth commandment, thou shalt not kill. And many preachers misinterpret that because it's not kill, it's murder. Jesus had it right in Matthew 19, 18, when he says, thou shalt do no murder. Now, if you murder, you're not going to get rewarded in heaven. You won't see heaven, for no murder can enter the kingdom of God, 1 Corinthians 6, 10, and Revelation 21, 8. We've got to start preaching the true word of God. And I'll tell you, something's wrong. Judgment day is coming, and you'll stand before Christ, and he will not be your evangelist preaching Islam. He will stand there judging the nations who've rejected the message of Christianity. Oh, God help us. Yes, God help us, Jack. How wonderful to know that the arms of God are always extended toward us, and he will help us if we'll open our hearts to Jesus. That's why the Lord came. Love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. How wonderful to open your heart to the Lord. Jack's going to show us right now how to be ready for the coming of the Lord. Maybe there are things in your life you don't want there. So many things, Jack, that could be there. Drugs, alcohol, so many other things. God will help us. Oh, we have redemption, salvation through Christ's blood. Ephesians 1, seven, And 1 John 1, seven says... The blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. I don't care what you've done, how often you've done it, how heinous, hideous, depraved your sin may seem in your own sight. Christ will wash you right now if you ask him to come into your heart. Look at me. Pray it. Lord Jesus, wonderful Savior, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the blood shed to save me. I trust in the merits of your blood today for eternal life. Come into my heart, Jesus. In your name I pray it. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. I trust that you prayed that prayer. And if you did, please write to me. There is my address on the screen. I'll send you this wonderful little booklet for Steps in a New Direction. You know why I like this booklet? Because when Christ comes in, you're going in another direction. He'll guide you. He'll walk with you. He'll help you to have victory over anything you don't want there, over anything you know he doesn't want there. So write to me. I'll send you this little book of first steps in a new direction. I'd love to hear from you that you prayed the prayer, opened your heart to Jesus. And now, friends, woo, here we are, the Jack the Nippy Prophecy Bible and three books in here of Jack's also. Here's our announcer to tell you how I can receive it. Chuck? My friend, to order your Prophecy Bible, call 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send 5995 to Jack Van Appy Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send 5995 to Jack Van Appy Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Call today for this gift of a lifetime. Rexella? Thank you so much, Chuck. Don't put it off because, you know what? Christmas, the holidays will soon be here. This is a good birthday gift also. So please let me hear from you. Write to me. I'll put this in the mail as soon as we hear from you. A great gift for any occasion. And now, friends, let me just leave you with this very, very good thought. You have things in your life. This is so good. Don't tell God how big your storm is. Tell the storm how big your God is. Oh, amen. Amen. We'll look forward to being your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you. So do we. Bye-bye.